in the uppermost reaches in the uppermost reaches of the electromagnetic spectrum we have the gamma rays whose free whose wavelength varies from wavelength varies from 10 to the power minus 10 meters to 10 to the power minus 14 meters so somewhere around 0.1 nanometer to 10 to the power minus 5 nanometers right very small wavelength resulting in extremely high frequencies okay so frequency kind of 10 to the power 18 to say 10 to the power 24 hertz so they are extremely dangerous very high energy per photon right <clears throat> very very high energy and and gamma rays are also divided into two so the upper reaches of the gamma rays are called hard gamma okay and how are they produced they are produced in nuclear reactions and by unstable nuclei and by unstable nuclei you know what happens uh, as you have seen transitions of electrons in in atoms say in a hydrogen we have seen it is <coughs> minus 13.6 electron volt and then it becomes n is equal to 1 then it becomes <coughs> minus 3.4 so that is n is equal to 2 and goes on like that and we know that when the electrons make a transition from one level to another radiations are released right normally ultraviolet in hydrogen you have seen the Lyman uh, Balmer was visible and uh, the rest are the rest are all ultraviolet okay now in the in in the same manner an unstable nuclei also undergoes transitions okay nuclei the nuclei undergoes the transition and as a result of that you have you have radiations emitted as it becomes more stable so from a higher level if it goes down to the lower level the radiations are emitted and gamma rays is one of the emissions that is radiated okay so so and there is a peculiar thing about gamma rays they can penetrate up to two meters in concrete hmm? can penetrate two meters up to two meters in concrete you know so that energetic so so the nuclear nuclear war shelters that normally the developed countries make their walls are thicker than two meters okay and they normally use their tube to to make a shelter because it's naturally underground so the metro railways of of most of the nations maybe except our country <coughs> uh, they are they are built like that okay so okay so that is one now due to this so they are extremely dangerous extremely dangerous to living tissues and organisms and organisms okay and what happens what happens is is however they found a use in used in treatment of cancer cells <coughs> you know uh, we are talking about the treatment of localized cancer cells right so for example tobacco chewing if that has led to some localized form of cancer there you can bombard it say for example in in, in blood cancer where the 
where the whole thing is moving, you, you cannot use this. So this is called radiation therapy. Okay, otherwise you normally give for, for, for things which are distributed, you give chemotherapy. Okay, so there are chemicals which run in the veins and there they kill it. Okay, so it is intravenously injected into the, uh, uh, in the, in the form of a drip, it is injected into the veins of the patient and that's how he gets treated. Radiation is when you know that this part has got, got cancer, you have detected through biopsy and then you treat it. <coughs> okay. But so, 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 so those localized forms do get killed. However, some of the cells do escape because things are happening at the cellular level. So you never know what is happening, right? How much has escaped? Fine. However, a lot of research is going on in that direction where, where a, the, a, a greenish glowing fish, it has got, got a kind of chemical compound which has the capacity to get attached to the to the cancerous cells and it starts glowing green okay so there are a lot of efforts going on towards detecting and and locally detecting each and every cell and killing it so that the treatment is possible okay radiation yes gamma gamma rays are used uh, uh, there was a Nobel Prize given to a Japanese scientist some years back, I think 10-12 years. After that, a lot of research is going on and uh, uh, you, must have, you must have read uh, a month back or so that, uh, that uh, say in within 5 years we should be having the treatment for cancer. Because they, they are now at the juncture where they are able to detect each and every cell and they are in a position to kill it. <coughs> okay. So that will be a big, big, big battle one. The whole thing is cancer, but how do we detect? That's what. No? If you are able to detect, here what we do, we are randomly firing so that apart from the diseased ones, the living ones or the healthy tissues also get killed. If you are able to <coughs> detect and your, your, your medicine is able to go to the place like a guided missile, then, then you can do that. Now if something, uh, the marker attaches to the cancer cell and something attaches to the marker. Your drug goes and selectively attaches to the marker mm. and bursts it. Then you are done, right? <clears throat> so they are trying on those lines and, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great, great, great victory uh, that will be won the moment they, they are able to find that. And these are the real heroes, the unsung ones whose names we do not know. Mm. Used or used for treatment of cancer. Used for treatment of cancer cells. Fine. And and uh, as we have already discussed that there are overlaps and it actually depends on how you produce it or how you detect it. And there is no sharp boundary, fine, that, that says yes, till here it was UV and suddenly it has become X-rays, no, <clears throat> okay. But the danger starts going up as you, um, the danger starts becoming more as you go up, fine. <clears throat>